So the cupboards are white. So the cupboards are white. Alright, so all right, no water in just yet. So it is one sink. It's deep. Let's see if I can open this. So, a lot of cupboard space. Kitchen is a little small, but has all that you need in a kitchen. Alright, so as you can see over here, you would have your, your stove. The way this kitchen is set up, it seems as if the best stove to have would be a electric stove because you would not have much space to put a cylinder if you should have a gas stove um, fridge area right here could hold a decent size fridge and then you have a, another counter area here with your cabinet for storage Alright, how do I open this? Um, Alright, see that one seems a bit tight. Alright. Alright, so this is your kitchen area. So I'm gonna turn. So as you can see it's an open concept. So this is where your living room will be. And to the back right there, as you can see is your patio so before i show you the patio let me just bounce around so you can see the living room area you have a window right there so you can get your natural air and your natural light and right here we have your tv area and this is all possible because of better homes and garden real estate all right so let me take you out to the patio so this is your glass glass door sliding door and the patio is very big so you can see you have a full-size sofa set right there outside right here you have a nice big table and some smaller seating very big and you have views of Kingston all right so this side actually gives you mountain views all right pretty nice all right so now we're gonna make our way to the bedroom so I'm gonna start with the first bedroom on the left So this is the first bedroom, high roof, nice molding. Alright, so this room actually has three windows. Alright, so that's window number one, window number two, window number three. So you have a whole lot of natural light, natural air. Alright, and you have views of Kingston. Alright, so if I turn to my right, you will see the closet space right here. Alright, so decent enough space. Alright. So this is room number one. Alright. So I'm going to go out. So 
before I go into the master right here, this is the bathroom for room number one. All right, so this bathroom is out on the outside. So you know when you have guests, and if they're not necessarily staying over, they don't have to go into any bedroom. They come right here and use this bathroom. If they are actually staying over in room number one that I just showed you, they will still use this bathroom. And right here you have a little space that you can store your washer and dryer. So this is the mini version of a laundry area. No tubs. Just space to store your machine. All right, so now we're gonna make our way into the master bedroom right here. All right, so the master is a little bigger than the first bedroom. So the bed they have on show is actually a queen size, queen size bed. And you have plenty of space left over. So this could actually hold a king size bed right so there are no windows in the master but you have a very big glass door right here which leads to your patio all right let me miss your side because they're still doing work so nice size patio and you have views of the city and right here you have your closet space Pretty decent enough space. Alright, so let us make our way to the master bathroom. I really like the doors. The doors are nice. Alright, so it's still under construction, not yet finished. Styled all the way around. As you can see, nice shower head. What do you call this one now with the rain? All right, so the enclosure is not yet in, but it, it is about 90% finish. All right, so nice sink right there. And it seems as if it would be nice storage down here. All right, so this is what the two bedroom, two bath apartment will look like. And the cost. For this one is 24 is it 24 24 million i think so i will put the exact cost in the description